Yeah. So of course the cowards again. You know, our credit department and the New York fecal department and the grocery store. They send out the fire trucks. All right, and the credit department driving by with their sirens. But of course, you know, the cowards are now quiet now, right? Yeah, lady. <laughs> so you see what they start doing again? They'll start walking right up to my phone. I'm like, glad, lady, because your phone, your face is going to be all over the, all over the, on YouTube. Or make it famous. Or make it famous. And that's how, you know, they, they act, she's acting like if she didn't see me coming. Right? <laughs> she's going to walk right in front of me. That's, that's one of the tactics that they'll do. You know? That's one of the tactics that they'll do. All right, so yeah, anyhow. I want to go to my doctor today, but uh, I guess I didn't realize it was uh, snowing out here. So I guess I got I to gotta call because, you know, I, to remind him about my referral to get my MRI done. And this is, this is why they're acting like this. Right, like I said, whenever every time I have plans to do something to go to the doctor, they start acting and again in a very aggressive way, targeting in a very aggressive manner. Right, that's what they start doing. Why? Because they're scared, they, they're scared and they're afraid because they know the damage that they've done. So, you know, they're scrambling to save their asses, right? <laughs> again, right. Cause that's what criminals do. That's what criminals in high places, in position of authority, do. Right? All you gotta do is look at the history. Look at the history within the CIA in the MK Ultra program. Okay? Just look at their history, man. Look at the New York City Department, New York Credit Department, their history. The amount of lying that they do. Right? And even when they even and then they'll say, oh well we we're not doing this anymore. And even when you sue them, they still continue to do what they do. Right? Look at the whole um, quarter system, right, which was ruled unconstitutional, but they're still engaging in the quarter system. Right? They're still engaging in stop and frisk. That's why most citizens need to complain. Okay, complain. Every time they stop you for no reason, complain. Because they have no reason to stop you. You know, I watched a video of a, of a, it was a black man, it was a teacher, okay? A school teacher. Cops driving by, man gets in his car, he looks over at the cop, and the cop, you know, again, they have a vivid imagination Cause they start imaginary shit, imagining shit. They imagine they smell weed. They imagine the way you look at them was kind of suspect, you know? So then, you know, he runs, he runs the teacher's car plate and it said it come back stolen. That's what he said, right? That's what he said. So other cars, other predators, officer arrives and he's talking about, oh, it's stolen, it's stolen. Man, it's like, look, I have my license for registration. It's my car. I'm a teacher. You know? <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Look, look, look. See? So you come back? What happened, bro? I thought you was going to the train station. What happened? You come back to stand up there? Oh, they must have heard what I said about him being them being cowed, right? Maybe that's why the woman came and uh, walked in front of me so to show her face on screen. Oh, they feel brave. They feel brave now, right? <laughs> I tell you. They feel mighty brave. Okay, I'll make you famous. Anyhow. So, you know, and of course the lying ass cop, he's lying. Because when the, when the sergeant comes on the scene and he's like, show me, he said, did you check on the system? He's like, no. He's like, okay, well, show me where it says it was stolen. You couldn't show him. You couldn't show him. Right? So they'll, they'll lie. They'll lie. 
You know, like I said, the dark triads. That's why they become police officers. And if they have that narcissistic personality trait, when they get into the police academy, all right, they, they become even worse. If they're if they're on the narcissistic scale of a four or five, they become a six or seven. And a seven is the highest scale. As I said, most serial killers, they join the police force. And most serial killers are white males. They join the police force. They hunt black people. You know, another video I watched <laughs> where you had a, a cop walking by his police car, his patrol car. He had the guy in the back seat. An acorn fell on his car. And he's talking about um, shots fired, shots fired, I'm hit. And this dude is doing flips and shit. Anything that they can to assassinate a black man, they'll try to do. And lucky for that black man that, I mean, the cops fired like about seven or eight shots into his own vehicle. Into his own vehicle, okay? In which you had the suspect in handcuffs. So how the fuck the suspect got to have a gun? You have to pat, pat him down, right? But I want you to understand how they're, the way that they think, the way their mind works. Any loud noise, if you're a black suspect and they have you in handcuffs, is an opportunity for them to kill you and try to get away with it. Okay? So I think he was fired. Okay, he should have been charged. A damn Akon? <laughs> Yo, I, I, I never laughed so hard in my entire life. I laughed so damn hard. It was so comedic. It was so comedic. I laughed so damn hard. All right? Literally, an acorn. You could barely hear. And then his partners just started shooting. Now, when you look at the, listen to the body cam, you don't hear nothing. So where this imaginary gunshot comes from? And this dude is on the floor, rolling, talking about fire. He's shooting while he's laying on the floor, talking about how uh, shots fired, shots fired, or how he's hit, he's hit, he's hit. And I'm just like, wow, man. Like I said, any excuse to kill black people or to criminalize black people Particularly black men, that's what they do. That's what they do. Alright, talk to you guys on the next video.